Um, so Tyler, you've um, increased the, the lucerne area on this property from five to 350 hectares. And I know this year there was another 30 odd hectares put in. So take me through that process. How do, how do you determine that um, a paddock's going to go into lucerne? Um, so we're kind of coming towards the end of the development of, of, of our lucerne area. Um, so um, we had originally a, a small amount of lucerne um, in, the, in the lower country around here and, and the idea came up why not take it a bit further. Um, so there was an um, area set aside um, that we want to keep developing. Um, so uh, our last, this is our last year of um, our big um, hill block, um, that 30 hectare hill block that you're talking about. Um, so that we start, th this is with all the loose end as well, uh, we go through a two year rotation of, um, of a um, winter crop. So either it'll be um, kale or rape. Uh, so the one that we're just um, finishing up now is um, come out of uh, kale. Um, so there's two years of cow up there um, and we do that as well just to break the country in. It can be quite um, uh, rough terrain. So it's um, dust um, and then um, dust rolled and then um, and, and we chain harrow, maybe the, um, we'll chain harrow the seed in that we fly on for the cow. Um, and then once it's leveled off, um, it'll just we'll go in and direct drill it. So for the kale crop, before you go into it, is there any spraying? Do you spray off the resident vegetation? Or yep. yep. So, so is that just a roundup spray? Yep, just roundup. Yep. yep. And that's yep. an autumn spray. Yep. Just okay. before. Yep. Um, yeah, and that'll be grazed with. Um, yeah, grazed with. Uh, it used to be grazed with our hoggets, um, but now we're at the end of our development. Um, yeah, it'll be grazed with uh, ewes or something like that. Okay, and yeah. so then. Um, We've got it prepared, we've got it sprayed off, we've got the kale, we disc the kale out or what do we do with the kale to uh, then prepare a lucerne seed bed? Yeah, on the, on the, um, on the second year it'll be, uh, it'll be, won't be as um, heavily cultivated and then it'll be um, uh, compacted and then, and then left to settle because we need that um, really good seed bed for that to go in um, and it's obviously quite um, important uh, getting the direct drilling right with the lucerne um, yeah if it's not sown at the right depth and stuff we're finding that you yeah, we're not getting a very good strike um, and which can be hard with some of the country that's been drilled um, well because a lot of it you don't want to go back to if you don't have to yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no definitely um, so yeah and then uh, so it's sown at um, about 12 kilos to the hectare um, and when um, uh, we're sowing it in um, early spring Yep. So, so for you, that's sort of October. October. Yep. Yep. Get yep. it in the ground. Yep. Yep. And you're still expecting some spring moisture to come, some rainfall through that September, yep. October, yep. November yep. period, Definitely. which strikes it. And then, yep. as you said to us earlier, you then just leave it to get a bit mature before you put the animals onto yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. So uh, previously, on some of the um, rolly country like this, we might cut some hay on the first cuts. And um, maybe do small bales or something, or on the we've got a little bit on the flats that we'll do maybe do a bit of baleage or something um, that will feed to our calves in the autumn. But um, yeah, the rest of the harder hill country that we can't cut anything off, we'll just left to wilt a wee bit. Eh? And um, any weed control required during that establishment phase? Uh, not too sure, not really. You, you, you can't think that you've no. had to spray a, a, an establishing crop. No, no. The look on no. your face says that that's an odd phenomenon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So clearly yeah. you haven't had to do it. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the preparation has been it's such key. that you haven't yeah, yeah, had yeah. any issues. Yeah. What about insect during establishment? Have you had any? Uh, we do get, um, we do get uh, aph um, the aphids, yep. Um, but uh, we haven't had it uh, bad enough to um, have to. Uh, do anything so your aphids anything. have come on any of these crops as well as your establishing ones. Yep. But you haven't had a, a failure from cutworms or no. springtails or anything like that. No, no. The only one we did have was um, just dry weather. Yeah, right. yeah, yep. yep. When establishing it. Yep. Well, I, I, in the last few years we have had the odd spring that never arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't get any yep. rainfall. I seem to remember yep. September, October, November, no rainfall at all. Yep. So if you'd established yep. one in those years, it's pretty yep. dry. Yep. And and we're we're pretty lucky this year. It's been hasn't uh, it's been a way bit of a dry um, spring, like the start of spring. But we we're lucky we had a bit of a, um, a wetter winter, so that moisture was still, and especially the altitude that we're. Um, where we're sowing at the moment, it, it holds onto the moisture, not like these drier, drier points down here.